Hi everyone, Ryan here from Fight Game Analysis, and today we are going to be talking about the fight that just wrapped up between Hamza Chemaev and Gilbert Burns. Before we jump into that, if you enjoy the content, please go ahead and click on the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate your support. All right, man, UFC 273. A lot of people were looking forward to this fight. A lot of people were wondering what Hamza Chemaev really was going to be able to bring to the table when he stepped in there against an absolute elite contender like Gilbert Burns. Right, the number two man in the world. Dude, he delivered. What a fight, man. What a phenomenal fight by both men. I'm telling you, this one was through the roof. You couldn't, you, you couldn't have asked for anything more. Right? We were wondering what we were wondering what Shamayev was really gonna be able to bring. And let me tell you, we learned two things from this fight. All right. Number one, both men are tough as nails. <laughs> neither one of those men have, have neither one of those men has any quit in them. Number two, Hamza Chamaev's the real deal. He deserves to be mentioned among the best in the world at 170 pounds. Look, <laughs> so just to give a quick recap of this fight, opening round begins, and we see Chamaev do what Chamaev always does. Almost immediately goes in there for the takedown. Burns defends well. We see a little bit of a grappling. About a minute later, it ends. Gilbert Burns on his back. Chamaev letting him up. Didn't even want to get into the ground. Didn't even want to go into his guard. And, and, and attempt to engage in any ground and pound or advance his position or anything like that, it goes up, gets to the feet. Now, for the, the majority of the round at that point, I thought Gilbert Burns controlled it. Thought he was able to really dominate it with his right hand. He was able to land a lot of straight rights, a lot of long rights. You know, Chemayev was controlling the center of the octagon, applying a lot of pressure like he does. He was able to land some shots here and there, but the majority of that round was dictated by Gilbert Burns landing that right hand. Right up until the end, right up until the end, about 45 seconds, about a minute left, we had seen Chemayev working out in both stances, coming orthodox and southpaw, and he was in that southpaw position, and he just landed a right jab that absolutely sat Gilbert Burns down. Chemayev swarmed him. He got the round from, because of that, in my opinion. Then we see into the second, and we saw Gilbert Burns start to take over. We saw Gilbert Burns start come out there, and again, he was landing some very crisp counters, landing some really good right hands. All the way up until the end of the round, and now it's Burns' turn to land some devastating shots. Man, Shamayev comes in trying to apply that pressure, trying to really work some aggression to get his shots off, and Gilbert Burns just caught him with a beautiful overhand right. Dropped him. Gilbert Burns gets the second round, 1-1 one, one going into the third third round honestly it was decided in my opinion by the pressure by the aggression and just by the effective striking that Chimaya brought you know he was able to defend some takedowns he was able really to control the action and just kind of be the ring general in there and ultimately he was able to come up with the victory and let me tell you something man that was a special moment okay think about this for a second it's 1-1 going into the third if your Hamzat if your Hamzat Chimaya you got all this hype behind you, but you're the more inexperienced man. You came out, fought hard in that first round, were not able to establish your wrestling, but you were able to drop the man with a shot at the end and look pretty dominant. But then he comes back in the second and completely steals the momentum and hurts Chemayev and hurts you bad at the end of the second round. You got all this hype. The whole world's watching. Everybody's seeing what you're going to do. You came out strong, lost all the momentum, and now here you are going into the third. Dude, that is a tough spot to be in, particularly when you're the more inexperienced man. Dude, he delivered. He came back. He found a way to dig deep, found a way to get the win. Man, that was incredibly impressive in my opinion. That was, I'm sure that was just a huge growing moment. He talked about in the post-fight interview about how, how tough Gilbert Burns was, about how determined he was. <clears throat> Man, my hat's off to both men, but what a moment for Hamza Chimaev. What a moment, you know? So after this, I mean, Dana White already spoke about that if Chimaev comes out with a victory, we're likely looking at a shot against Colby Covington. Dude, I am all for it. Man, that is a fight that I want to see. Chamaya versus Colby Covington? Pfft, sign me up. So let me know what you guys think. Were you as impressed by the performance as I was? I mean, we knew what Gilbert Burns was going into this, but seeing what Chamaya brought, man, do you want to see him in there against Colby Covington next? Do you think he deserves a title shot right out the gate? I mean, 
And where, where does Burns go from here? Let me know what you guys think.